got the best, the hottest man in the world. I'm coming! Bang Bang Pizza Skulls and Schmack oh my God, what's up everybody? I got me here a donated episode from Kevin Kaler, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, from Detroit Rock City. So get up and get it down. And uh, boy, I hope Alan Sandlin is watching this. Alan, check your email, bro. Very, very important. Um, oh, God, I hope you're watching this. Um, anyway, uh, he wants me to put Mr. Kevin from Detroit Rock City. Oh, the great third Black Sabbath album, Master of Reality, versus my favorite Iron Maiden album, the first one. You know, for a while, I was like, Killers is the best Iron Maiden album. I, I was stubborn, man. But then it finally dawned on me. I gotta say, man, maybe it's timeline, you know? But this is the first Maiden album I bought. I walked into Specs Music in West Lamont here in Hialeah. And I saw this album cover, never heard of Iron Maiden. Flipped the album cover over, and I was like, holy crap, they look like Judas Priest. I must buy this, and I left that store. I went in, I can't remember what album I wanted to buy. I think it may have been Women and Children First, or... I can't remember, because 1980 was plagued with amazing albums. That is, hands down, my favorite year of music. I was 15 years old, and I think 15 is a very special year. You know, like I know a lot of people like, you know, there's a lot of people like, oh, I love Somewhere in Time, I love Turbo. I'm thinking a lot of you people were 15 or in that realm because timeline is everything. So, um, I'm going with the British version of the First Maiden that does not contain uh, Sanctuary. So it can match the amount of tracks it's on this. Right on. Oh, which one do I like more? <laughs> Black Sabbath is my favorite band of all time. In the 70s, they do no wrong, right? You know, so, I mean, I would put this above Technical Ecstasy and Never Say Die. And I love both those albums. Actually, Never Say Die is a Black Sabbath album I listen to the most. But those are the only two albums I would put this album over. Not anything... From Sabotage Down. <coughs> All right. By the way, I just saw Skid Row, and that singer was unfucking believable. All right. Um, okay, so we got Sweet Leaf versus Prowler. They're both great, man, but I'm going with Sweet Leaf. Man, what Bill Ward does during that solo. Holy crap, man. That's why he's my favorite drummer of all time. What he does is just oh, breathtaking. My God. Master Reality gets that one. All right, then we got After Forever versus Remember Tomorrow. This is torture, Kevin. Damn. Would you like to see the Pope at the end of the road? Do you think he's fooled? -na -na -na. What a fucking song. But I'm going with Remember Tomorrow. I think that is a better song. And after, you know, in a scale of 1 to 10, I would put After Forever at 11. But I'm saying, man, I'm going with uh, Remember Tomorrow. All right, then we got Embryo. You know, there's a little cheating here. There's a little tiny instrumentals. Versus Running Free. Now... Of course, I'm going with Maiden, but, you know, I love Embryo, but but here's the deal. You know, oh, my God, I just thought of what's the next track. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Children of the Grave versus fucking Phantom? Let's get to that in a second. But, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to say. Uh, Embryo versus Runner Free. A lot of complaints about the production on... The first Maiden album, man, I wouldn't want anything touched on it. Martin Birch, to me, is like probably one of the greatest producers, along with Jimmy Page. But I'm glad. I'm glad that he didn't touch that first Maiden album, because I love the rawness. And Run It Free is a great example. 
that part in the middle where it goes gun, 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 sounds like like a saw blade. It's so it's so fucking gritty and awesome that I don't think Martin Birch would allow that. Ryan Free gets that one. All right, goddamn, Children of the Grave versus Phantom of the Opera. Fuck me running if you can catch me. Wow. That's torturous. I know what I'm going to go. I have to go with Children of the Grave. To me, that is the greatest Black Sabbath song. It's my favorite song from my favorite band. And man, Phantom of the Opera, you know, it's one of my favorites. I mean, when it comes to Maiden, I would have to say Purgatory, Prodigal Son, and Remember Tomorrow, then Phantom of the Opera. That would be my top four. What would be number five? Um, whew. I don't know. It would. It, it, it's a real tough one. Ratchild or Charlotte the Harlot, Killer, Murders in the Rumor. Oh, let's keep going on. All right, that's the end of side one. So now we're going to pick an album over, down, right here. Oh, Jethro Tull. Uh, this is probably my, well, I can't say. It's my, all right, let me put it this way. It's my favorite Jethro Tull album that I know of. Because I'm not the biggest Jethro Tull guy. I got that live album that's pretty good, that, that bursting out. But, man, I love Teacher on this and uh, uh, Nothing to Say. This is a fucking great album. But I am a casual Jethro Tull fan. There probably are better Jethro Tull albums. But... Leave a comment below any Jethro Tull fan that says benefits their best, dude, because that would make me feel good since I don't know much. All right, so we got Orchid versus Transylvania, both instrumentals, but, you know, Orchid's cool. I dig it. Instrumentals beyond cool. It's the Fonzie of instrumentals. It is fucking awesome. So, you know, forgive me, but sit on it, Orchid. I'm giving that one to Sabbath. Oh, and by the way, Maiden got two on side one. And Sabbath got three. I forgot to write in. Uh, oh, no, wait. Did it? No, it only got two. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Wait. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Okay. So then we got Lord of This World. Badass song. Versus... I love Strange World, man. I really do. Don't think. Don't get it twisted, okay? Don't get it twisted that I'm picking Lord of this World over Strange World thinking that I don't like Strange World. I love Strange World, but I'm going with Lord of this World because it's an evil possessor. All right. Then we got... God, I love Solitude. And it's going against Charlotte the Holic, as I said. You know, no sanctuary on this one. Um, yeah, I got to go with Maiden, Charlotte the Harlot. Man, that middle part, when Deanna will sing, Jeremy, me standing there. I love that man's voice more than, more than Dickinson. I really do. And I, you know, people, oh, Dickinson better sing. That's cool that you think that, but man, listening to that little breakdown on fucking Charlotte the Harlot, I... That voice does more for me. And nothing against Dickinson. I think Dickinson is a great singer. I just prefer Deano. All right. So did I write that down? I, I don't think I did. All right. So then we got, got the last track. Into the Void versus Iron Maiden. Both great, but I know what I'm going to go for. Definitely. Is that, does that mean this is a tie? I may have fucked up the score. Because I got a tie here. Maybe, I don't know. All I know, Kevin, is that you rule, brother. Thank you for the donation. And, uh, you know, do me a favor. Continue to lose your mind in Detroit Rock City, all right? Get up and then get down with, with the person you like. You know what I'm saying, bro. Bump uglies, man, in Detroit Rock City. That's right. 
And when you have an orgasm, make it sound like that car crash at the end of the song. Right on, everybody. Right on, Kevin. Thank you so much for the donation. And hey, put your track list in below, but take Sanctuary off this. You Yankees, you Yanks. I'm a, uh, I guess you can call me a Yank because I'm used to the version with Sanctuary. But uh, put your comments below. And uh, yeah, it's Black Sabbath Sunday, man. And uh, if you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want, if you want to live. Because if you don't, subscribe to my channel. Rest in peace. Stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. That's right. The Lord of my world, Black Sabbath. And smack them a gobba.